Namaste. Today we're going to do um, some movements that are going to concentrate on our upper body. So before we get started, let's just get comfortable. <clears throat> Notice where you are. Maybe find three things in the room that you can mentally note. Put some detail to it. Now lower your eyes. And I invite you just to see where you are today, noticing your breath as it comes in and out. Are you breathing from your lower belly all the way up through your ribs to your chest? Or are you breathing a little bit more shallow? Just noticing, no judgment, where you are today. And from here, we're gonna take our hands and place them on our ribs and see if we can take the breath right from the bottom of our sit bones, pulling our belly button into the back of our spine and breathing in all the way in from the lower bottom, all the way up through our belly, through our chest, filling ourselves up like a big balloon and then releasing through our nose and then again through our nose, breathing in all the way up and breathing out through our nose all the way out. Just feeling our breath rising as we expand our ribs and going back down. Sometimes it's nice to imagine a balloon going up, maybe a waterfall going down from your head all the way down to the base of your spine. Two more breaths like this. And now we will continue putting our hands on our knees and taking our body and slowly moving it forward and then to the side, to the back, and to the other side. So we're breathing in as we go around. We're breathing out through our nose. In and out. In and out and just notice how it's feeling on your sit bones your hips are slowly opening i am here i am present i am doing something for myself okay and then when you get to the center let's reverse direction and go to the back, to the other side, and to the front. And as you're doing this, you can push your body um, forward and then curl your back as you go, if it feels good for you. Remember, this is your body, your practice, your rules. All right. And then with your last round, we will meet in the center. Okay, so now we're going to start on our mat by going to your mat and sitting on your knees and just rounding your back and pushing your chest forward back and forth. When you round, you put your chin to your chest and you breathe in. And when you put your chest out, you breathe out. So breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. 
Breathing in and breathing out. Now going to our tabletop position, we're gonna do some cat and cow. Breathing in, looking up, breathing out, chin to chest. Breathing in, looking up, breathing out, chin to chest. Breathing in, looking up, and breathing out, chin to chest. Go at your own pace. Go as slow or fast, what you feel comfortable doing. This is your yoga, your practice, your rules. And just notice how you're feeling as you breathe in and you breathe out. You breathe in and you breathe out. Each vertebrae is getting stretched and curled. Now we're gonna take our right hand and extend it and our left leg extend it. And both limbs are pulling in opposite directions and then you bring your elbow to your knee. If you can touch, if you wanna touch, and stretch out again. Do a couple of those at your own pace, elbow to knee, and then stretching back out. And notice how you're feeling. Are you a little wobbly? Is this a good pos position for you? Take your time, go at your own pace. And once you've done a couple, then I invite you to keep your hands straight out and your leg straight out, both parallel to the mat, and just hold that position. And notice, is this easy? Is this hard? What are the challenges, if any? and hold this as long as you like. And remember to breathe in and out from your nose. And when you feel like you've had enough, then you can go into a child's position, which is just resting back on your legs and your head is touching the mat, your arms are extended and you're just breathing. Allowing gravity to take over and melt into the mat. Breathing in and out. Back onto all fours, switching sides. Left leg comes out, right leg comes out, pulling in opposite directions. And let's put our elbow to knee, stretch back out, breathing in, breathing out, stretch back. Knee to elbow, breathing out, breathing in, and breathing out, elbow to knee. And when you feel comfortable, maybe hold that position. The leg and the elbow are parallel to the floor. And you're just holding that position for as long as you feel comfortable. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. Just continuing to hold the position what's comfortable for you maybe you notice that your leg is a little lower than you want it to be you can raise it back up or your toes are tucked in or flat whatever gives you that proper posture and from here we're going to go back into child's pose once again just allowing our hips to release into the mat our head is on our forehead is touching the mat and our arms are straight breathing in and breathing out, breathing in and breathing out. Hardest part of yoga is just getting here and you did. So now we're slowly gonna get up, stand up, maybe a hip width apart, and join your elbows, hold uh, opposite elbows, and then lift your hands up over your head. And from here, we're just gonna take a nice stretch from our feet all the way up through our head to the top. And if you can, take your elbows a little bit behind your ears. So you're pushing your chest forward and you're looking up and your hands holding your elbows are slightly behind your head. Notice how this is feeling. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. 
breathing in and breathing out. And we try and not pull our shoulders up even though our elbows are pulling our arms up. We're giving that space in between, that stretch. Breathing in and breathing out. Trying to keep our hands as whatever is comfortable, the position behind our head. And if it's not comfortable, then go to a position that is comfortable. So maybe your your hand should, arms would be by your ears or even in front. Whatever it, your body speaks to you. Remember, everyone has their own way of dealing with where our bodies are today. So do what's right for you. When your arms are tired, you can stretch forward into a standard folding bend. And if this is challenging or if it's just not the right thing at this time, you can always take your hands and stretch them by your ears and do your forward bend or forward fold. And slowly release your hands to the mat. Bend your knees if you like just allowing your upper body to droop over and release to the ground. From here, you may want to join opposite elbows like a rag doll and just hang for some moments. Bend your knees slightly and hang and sway side to side if that feels comfortable to you or just allow your head to droop and release, let gravity pull onto your from your back and just release breathing in and breathing out breathing in and breathing out from here We're going to slowly raise ourselves up, slowly as you can, one vertebrae at a time, back up to stand. Your head will be the last thing that comes up, then you can raise your hands over your head and lift your head up. Lift your gaze up and notice how that feels and then bring it back to center. Your arms again are going a little bit behind your ears if that's comfortable. And this kind of stretch is great for those of us that sit on a desk for a considerable amount of time a day. Just hinging with your elbows back and forth from the middle of your head to a little bit behind your head and notice how that feels for your shoulder blades as they kind of um, try and touch your shoulder blades in the back and then they release as you bring them forward. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. And releasing your hands to the side. Rolling your shoulders around, seeing how that feels. So from here, we're going to join our elbows again and lift our hands up and look up, maybe gaze up, and then do a fold, forward fold, and then releasing down. Just allowing the back to release, the vertebrae to come down, and just breathe, breathing in, breathing out. And slowly come up when you're ready into a flat back and then up to a standing position. One more stretch to the back, bringing it to the center, opening up our hands, pushing our hands as if we're pushing the walls out. Push, 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 push. Breathing in, breathing out. And then 
and slowly release your arms down to the side. Now we're going to go back onto the mat into a child's pose position, sitting on our heels, forehead to the ground, arms to the side or in front, whichever is your choice. And just notice how you were feeling after those magnificent arm stretches over your head. How are those shoulders now releasing into the ground, breathing in and breathing out, breathing in and breathing out, breathing in and breathing out, and slowly coming up. Maybe turning your shoulders and making circles, just releasing a little bit. Now from here, we are going to sit on our knees and we're going to take our arms to shoulder, uh, to mat, parallel to the mat and keep our, our hands straight, but just use our shoulders to turn from our shoulders uh, caps around circles going one way and then going to another and so every time we're turning our shoulders around in a circle as they go to the back imagine your shoulder blades are touching and then around to the front and then reverse direction around now this is your shoulders shoulders from the shoulder cap just turning around in circles and if this is like, you know, oh, this is too much. I don't like this. I'd rather do something else. You can always take your hands and place them on your shoulders and use your elbows to make circles. So whichever is your, you know, uh, choice, whichever you like to do, please do. Just taking a moment and seeing how that feels. As I had mentioned before, you can always put your hands on your shoulders and bring your elbows in and around in a circle in one way, and then reverse the direction if that's what feels good to you for a shoulder release. Everyone has to decide what's best for them your body, your yoga, your practice. Just noticing how your upper body is feeling after this. Taking some breaths in and out. Inhale and exhale. Now we're going to do some neck turns. Breathing in as we go to the right and breathing out, center, and then breathing in to the left and out to center. Go at your own pace, breathing in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out. Never go too quickly when we're doing next. His neck is a very sensitive area and we want to just slowly do these movements and really breathe and notice what's happening to our neck as we are making these turns ever, ever so slightly. To the right, the center, and to the left. The center and back. Breathing in and breathing out. So our breath is matching our movement. Breathing in to the right, breathing out to the center, breathing in to the left, breathing out to the center. A few more at your own pace. Noticing how your neck is feeling. Are there any kinks in that area? And if so, maybe you want to breathe into it just a little bit more. And 
nice and slow movement. Breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out, breathing in and breathing out. From here, we're going to move into a seated position, cross-legged. And we're going to do some rolls of our, well, actually, we're gonna do the um, neck stretch. So taking your head to the right, right hand touching your left ear, and slowly guiding it toward the right. And the left hand comes parallel to the mat, and you let go of your hand, your fingers, and just very slowly move your arm up and down, breathing in and out. And you will notice a stretch on your left neck. And concentrate your breath on that left neck as you go up and down, in and out. Breathing, noticing. If your arm gets sore, you can always release it. Go at your own pace. This is your practice. And just notice how your shoulder is releasing, your neck is releasing as you continue to breathe in and out, in and out, in and out. in and out. Taking a moment now, just noticing, maybe you wanna close your eyes or lower your gaze, and breathing into your neck area. And just notice how one side is feeling compared to the other, or even noticing your breathing in your nostrils. Is your right nostril different? Does it feel different to your left? Just taking that moment to really just zero in on your breath to your nose. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. So from here, we're going to take a few more turns to the right, breathing in, breathing out to the center, breathing in as you go to the left and out to the center, breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out. Let's notice if there's any change in how you're feeling. Breathing in. And breathing out, breathing in and breathing out. Now we're going to take the opposite side. 
taking the hand out and slowly going up and down as you hold that opposite direction to the left noticing how the right side of the neck and shoulder is feeling as you go up and down breathing in and out as you go up and down and if your arm gets sore you just release and sit in the position and just breathe and notice what your body is saying to you much of these exercises stretches are all designed for you to become more aware of how your body feels and um, just allowing yourself the grace of doing what's comfortable for you should never be yoga should never be anything painful it moves you to push you a little bit but nothing to any extreme extent just breathing in and out noticing how you are feeling with this up and down movement of your arm noticing how your neck and shoulder are feeling as you breathe in and out maybe your posture has gone a little bit and you want to straighten out relax take a moment close your eyes and just breathe and notice what the breath is like at this moment in time between your right and left nostril now that you've done both sides is there a difference is one side different to the other is just be curious about what is going on in your body breathing in and breathing out normal breaths through your nose Breathing in, breathing out. Concentrating on the air that's going in your nostrils, settling and then coming back out. Breathing in, breathing out. Now we're going to look to the right, breathe it out to the center, look to the left, breathe into the center, and just notice if there's a difference now as you go from right to left from when before we did the stretches. I'm going to do some head circles, going to the right, all the way around, and breathing out as you come back through your nose in breathing in as you go back and breathing out as you come forward 
breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. Let's go in the reverse direction, breathing in and breathing out. 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 The next one you come to the center, we'll all meet. Noticing how you're feeling. Breathing in and breathing out. We're going to be doing a little bit of Kalamati breathing now. If you're not familiar with this type of breathing, you can choose just to sit and breathe normally and think about uh, your breath going in and out of your nose. If you would like to try it, I suggest if you've never done it, only do a couple of moments of trying it and then just rest. Um, so the this is how we do it. We sit up nice and tall. We take a normal breath in and a normal breath out. And then the next breath that you take in, you're breathing out. You pull your belly button to the spine as you exhale with your nose very forceful and then you release a normal breath and then pull again belly button to the spine as you release and it automatically your breathing in will automatically take place and then you breathe out by pulling that belly button into the spine so my suggestion is to try it maybe two or three breaths and see how that feels and then you can build up to doing maybe 10 at a time, pausing, and another 10, pausing, and eventually you can get into a sequence of maybe 50 at a time. But if you're new to the practice, I strongly suggest that um, you just see what it feels like to do one or two. Uh, when I first started doing this breathing, it, it, was, um, it wasn't that comfortable, and so I would hate for anyone to feel like, what is this all about? So um, I prefer to do this in person or online with people when they're first learning. So my strong suggestion is just to sit and breathe and notice how your body is feeling now after practice. I hope you enjoyed and uh, are happy that you came to give yourself this amount of time. And I look forward to sharing the space with you again another time. Take care.